guys. So let's get the man himself. The, are you ready for this? The best front man in the fucking world, the legend, that is Nick Animal Come on. Okay, so we've got some for anybody want any questions they put on well, Obviously John Burton's take us too far. If you know JB, the best thing is he's a very funny man. Okay, um, I'm going to go to my daughter said tonight that... Uh, Can you calm down please? If I, if I drink I mustn't speak because I'll embarrass them. <laughs> they're in here, they're going to be embarrassed. They've been embarrassed since the day they were born, so it doesn't matter too much. But unfortunately, if anybody asks me about why I've got, why I've got glass in my neck, I'm going to fuck right off. Because I'm going to get a major to my man first. He wants to wank me off. <laughs> no, my penis is just mine. Okay, does anybody want to ask anything, guys, about, about the film or about the band or anything? Is there anybody else to ask about the episode or the film? Does anyone want to fucking fight? I want. When's the film going to be released? The film is not when the film is released. But unfortunately, um, Matt's here. There is um, the film was obviously uh, an hour and forty, and there's. Because we've had so many band mem members for the last 40 years, there's so much we had to miss out. And I think the, uh, there's going to be another, another second bit to fill in the pieces of uh, people. Um, there's a lot of ex-band members here tonight who have been in there. And uh, I love them all dearly, but obviously, Tommy. And the band now that I play with, um, the local band, we're all Tumblr's worst people, and I think we have the support of you. You're Tumblr's worst fuckers. Because uh, we all know Tumblr's Wells is a very strange place. We went, all, we went on all across America, we played with Misfits and that on our last American tour. And uh, we had fucking nutters with guns, fucking nutters all everywhere. And Tony, my nephew, was my security guard. So every, every club we go to, we have a fucking nutter. I'm a fucking nutter. And Tony looks after me. Because I, I'm old, and I can't see up my ass or behind it. So he watches my back. I come down to Tony's world, and they're fucking stamped. What the fuck's going on there? How long is my penis? <laughs> Can this guy who asked me a question? It used to be long. It used to be long. the guy who asked one of the questions? Come up here. Come to me. You know about, uh, it just said about my book, which is, which is finished. My book is finished. But unfortunately, if, it, if, it, if my book got released 20 years ago, I, 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 I feel right. But I've already been warned that everything I say in my book is not PC for nowadays. So, I, I, I've written the book, and it's all ready to go, but you're going to have to wait until I fucking die. Because uh, I cannot afford the court cases, and uh, unfortunately, you're, you're only going to want to know the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. And unfortunately, the truth gets me into trouble. And uh, you might have to wait till I'm dead, or if not, when I get to a certain age, when I'm dribbling in a nursing home. You know, I, I, I've always said this, you know, I'm going to fucking spank her on that bike somewhere. But if I'm not, I'm in a nursing home. And I'll be rocking around, you know, dribbling, fucking dribbling out all, all orifices. And, uh, the nurse will say, shut up, you old cunt, drink your fucking porridge and shut the fuck up. And I say, I say nurse, you know, uh, no, I used to sit so what I did, I used to be, you know, fucking shut up, you old cunt, you know. It was funny, you spend your whole life living in life, fucking wild life, right? and you end up in a nurse home getting beaten up by some fucking nurse. So, yeah, so before I get beaten up, I will release my book 
And then, as I'm tripping in Ulster, I don't give a fuck if you put me in prison. Any other questions? I'm not going to bore you so because thank you guys for participating in tonight because uh, I mean obviously you know we did an auction and all this stuff um, it, it was very personal to me and you guys have, have, have uh, been very supportive for, for this cause of uh, St. Almond's. Uh, you know I, I've been accused of uh, many things uh, of um, should we say I'm, I'm racist or I'm anti-gay or what? You know, I, I mean, it's all bollocks. If you know me, it's, it's all bollocks because I just don't like people full stop. I don't give a fuck with it. You know, and, you know, I don't like them very much anyway. But, um, you know, you guys, I, I always say in my defence, if you think things are very important in life, about what you, oh, I can't cope with life because it's such a shit. Yeah, life can be a shit. Go to fucking St. Albans, see those poor kids fucking suffering. So your support has been fantastic. You know, and it's something I'm really feel for. I really do. These, uh, these, these kids, these kids really suffer terribly and they, they, didn't, they wasn't asked to be brought into this world. So your support helps and fantastic. Thank you very much guys. Yeah. It really is good. Yeah. Don't disappear yet. Because I've got a question from a lady who asked me this. I don't know if it's some sort of lady no, question. It's a virgin. No, she said, do you like dogs and especially chihuahuas? I don't quite know what that means. You haven't done so. Just be full. careful. Careful what you fucking say now. I'm going to embarrass my daughters. Do you like dogs and chihuahuas? Well, um, that's not it. I think that's it, yes. Yeah, I think my dog's is like that, don't I? But yeah, yeah, I'm a dog. You know I'm a fucking dog. I think my wife knows I'm a dog. My kids know I'm a dog. I was born a dog, I'll fucking die a dog. And that's the way it's going to be. Okay, I've got one more question for you, animal. Which is um, a slightly personal one. A gentleman asked me just now near to me, he said... What was the first time and how did you first meet your wife? I actually know the answer to this, but let's see if you can tell the truth. Well, this is, this is an honest story, right? We, John and I, uh, when JB was our, our drummer in the early days, um, we started a shop. John, John started this uh, uh, music shop in Camden Road, which was uh, um, JB. And we, we, started a, we started a punk rock clothing company underneath, and John and I used to go to London and buy punk rock gear and sell it and on Saturdays I'd go along and sign stuff for the kids and stuff. And it, it was quite exciting for Tom as well. We didn't have we didn't have punk things going on. And then of course John says we're gonna need somebody to come and work in it. And we had uh, audition for people to come in and work in this punk shop. And there was three girls came in and there was uh, uh, my wife uh, well, it wasn't my wife then, and it was one of the, uh, or, uh, 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 was and there was a Chinese girl, and it was a very lovely, very attractive girl. And John said to me, he said, uh, oh, the Chinese girl is fantastic. And I said, no, the little one, the little one is fantastic. And he said, no, 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 the Chinese girl is fantastic. And I said, no. So I said, okay, I'll fucking fight you for it, you know. I said, so we backed down, and we, we employed, we employed then uh, Sophie Jewhurst, and then on Saturdays I'd go in to sign stuff, and of course we got very close, and John got very upset, because he fell in, he fell in love with my wife, very, very early age, very early age. And he used to keep saying, you're no good for her, you're no good for her. And I, you know, but unfortunately, she, her, we stayed together for 37 years, my wife and I. Uh, and, and, and it's very funny because John always said, the Chinese girl would be better. <laughs> anyway, there's a lot of other stories, but I won't embarrass John because he's an old friend of mine. And, but we go back a long way. Now, I must tell you this little story with John. Because if you know John Birch and JP, he's not, he's not over there, is he? No. 
I, I, I turned up uh, in, in a car with leather seats. He took his pants off and he's rubbed his ass and all my car. He said, because I love leather. It's very strange, very strange, man. I don't say, I don't say where he's in Australia, where he's touring. John was always absolutely fucking amazing fun. And uh, just not only did he, he get me to do karaoke in America with I Got You, Dave. I mean, he, he, he fucking, but in Australia, I was three stories up in a, in a hotel room and the, the curtains were closed. And I heard a tapping on the window. What the fuck's that, you know? And then tap, tap, tap. So when we're three stories up, nobody could be out the window. I have a look across the bay, and I, I open the curtains. There's John Birch completely naked, with his knob stuck to the window, on, on a ledge, which is probably about six inches, and he's standing like that. Boo, 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 boo. Very upsetting, very upsetting. I think it's you, you know, but, but yeah, we had a lot of fun. So, I, I know so many stories that John, uh, if you know him, I don't have to tell him, you know what he's like. I mean, why he hasn't been locked up? It's <laughs> great, bless you all. Thank you very much for, for coming tonight. Hope you had a good fun. Uh, thanks for your donations. Thanks for everything. I'm going to leave you with uh, my, my son in law, and uh, he wants to just come up and thank you guys. Uh, um, all that you do, but uh, thank you very much. The actual animal, that is animal. Well done. Okay, we've got one more quick thing to do. It's very important this. We've got the reason why we're here tonight is the Antonola League, but also to raise money for the Great Ormond Street. And we've got a true friend of Great Ormond Street here tonight. We've also got a friend of the Antonola League. And especially that after a long day, when he's been on television all fucking day, we've watched him all day on the TV, he likes to go home, slip into his Porsche, and welcome everybody. So please, on twinkle toes, all right. It's lovely to be here with all of you and to share this stage with all of you, but also to be on this stage. I know this band has been a great part of all of your lives for a number of years. Um, it's been a huge part of my life for eight years. Um, so it's genuinely, it's a real, it's really lovely to be up here. Um, I'm proud to be a part of the Anti Nowhere League family. I'm, I'm proud. We're all there. I'm very proud to be able to call Nick Animal Kalma my father-in-law. The day might come when my son asks if it's okay to suck an old man's cock. <laughs> or fuck a goat. <laughs> I, I'll have to direct him to that man in the middle of the day. Don't do that. But for now, very proud. Very proud. And no, um, as, as, as Birchie and, and, as, and as Animal have already said, Listen, we, we're here obviously to support the band and we've been on an amazing 40 year journey but of course also to raise some really important money. I've been lucky enough to work with uh, the great people at Great Ormond Street for a number of years and Jen, I cannot tell you that the money that you've raised already so far is going to go so, so far to changing kids' lives and their families' lives in tow as well. Um, we're going to be posting the amount of money that we have all raised together on the Antinova League Facebook page in the next couple of days, so keep an eye out for that because generally we've saved people's lives tonight. Um, simply, simply put, is that we've lost the film but we've saved lives. So, uh, so I'm glad to be here. Thank you so, so, so much. I haven't, I haven't got anything else to say apart from the fact that I'm thinking about my 20 month old son, who's going to be in a number of years, so confused about what's okay and what's not. <laughs> but genuinely, you know, if that film is anything to go by, do what the fuck you want. To be completely honest. Um, so thank you. Can we also have a quick um, round of applause for JB? Both of the stars are so very, very well. I'll say goodbye. I'm going to go.
there are still some buckets around by the merchandise and by the um, by the uh, bar as well. So if you got some loose change as well, it just anything that you got, you want to give a little bit to the charity. I'm not getting. I've already given a bit of money to you. Okay. I've given my life to this family. What more do you want? Uh, but whatever you can is so so gratefully received. So thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of your night. Very much is very appreciative. Um, and uh, fuck yourselves. Okay. There we go, another career down the train. Yeah. All right, thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tonight. It's the 40th birthday of the Antinoma League. So fucking what? Let the mayhem commence.